In this video, we take a look at the most important armaments projects of the Royal Air Force. And with that, welcome to a new video on my channel. If you want to stay up to date on security and defense policy, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. Let's get started. Tempest, also known as the Global Combat Air Program, is an ambitious development project for a sixth-generation multi-role combat aircraft designed for long-range strike and interceptor missions. Developed by a consortium including BAE Systems, Leonardo, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the program aims to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon in the Royal Air Force and Italian Air Force, as well as the Mitsubishi F-2 in the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. The UK is planning to invest around 10 billion pounds over the next decade, Japan contributing a similar sum, and Italy providing roughly half that amount. Initially, Sweden was also involved but has since withdrawn, likely due to differing national requirements. A prototype is scheduled for unveiling in 2027, production is expected to begin around 2030, and the first aircraft are slated for deployment from 2035 onwards. Key technological innovations include an advanced integrated sensing and non-kinetic effects module, which will provide pilots with a 360-degree situational awareness by processing data volumes far exceeding those of conventional systems, and an integrated communication system that ensures seamless interaction between manned and unmanned platforms. Additionally, a wearable cockpit incorporating augmented and virtual reality features is under development to enhance performance and potentially introduce a virtual co-pilot, paving the way for future unmanned operations. The program also focuses on developing a highly efficient, long-endurance propulsion system that may utilize green hydrogen as a sustainable fuel option. The Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II is a fifth-generation, single-seat, single-engine multi-role combat aircraft currently being delivered to the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy. The United Kingdom aims to procure a total of 138 F-35s, with an initial tranche of 48 planned to achieve full operational capability by the end of 2025. As of March 2024, 33 aircraft had already been delivered. A second tranche of 27 jets is expected to be procured after 2025, bringing the fleet to 74 by 2033. Operating primarily from the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, the UK's exclusive use of the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing variant allows for both short runway operations and, under light payload conditions, true vertical takeoff. The RAF declared initial operating capability in 2018, with the RN following in 2020. The first carrier strike group deployment took place in 2021. By early 2024, British F-35Bs aboard HMS Prince of Wales participated in Exercise Steadfast Defender, demonstrating NATO interoperability. Developed for ground attack, reconnaissance, and air defense missions with advanced stealth features, the F-35 family replaces earlier RN and RAF fleets, such as the BAE Sea Harrier, Panavia Tornado GR.4, and Harrier GR.9. UK procurement costs are estimated at 4.8 billion pounds, with a projected whole life cost of 12.96 billion pounds for the program. The Protector RG Mark I is a new medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc. to replace the RAF's retiring MQ-9A Reaper fleet. Configured to meet the UK's specific operational requirements, the UAV is designated RG for reconnaissance ground attack, indicating its dual capability for intelligence surveillance and engagement of land or sea targets. Stationed at RAF Waddington, the Protector program was initiated in 2015, with the MQ-9B airframe chosen in April 2016. An initial development contract of 100 million pounds was signed in December 2016, and in July 2020, the UK Ministry of Defense formally procured three aircraft, three ground control stations, and auxiliary equipment. The option for a further 13 aircraft and four additional control stations was exercised in July 2021, bringing the total order to 16. Delivery runs from 2023 to 2025 at an estimated cost of 1.76 billion pounds. The Protector achieved initial operating capability in 2024, and full operating capability is scheduled for 2026. 
The E-7 Wedgetail AEW Mark I is an airborne early warning and control aircraft designed to replace the RAF's aging E-3 D Sentry fleet. Originally, the UK Ministry of Defense signed a 1.5 billion pound contract in March 2019 for five aircraft at a unit price of about 300 million pounds. Under the 2021 Defense White Paper, however, the order was reduced to three jets, pushing the total program cost to 1.89 billion pounds and effectively raising the per aircraft cost to around 630 million pounds. This cost increase stems in part from fixed costs now spread over fewer airframes, as well as additional infrastructure and customization expenditures. The E-7 Wedgetail will be based at RAF Lossiemouth in Scotland, with deliveries scheduled for 2025 to 2026. The first RAF E-7's maiden flight took place on 20 September 2024. Full operational capability is slated for 2026. The British Ministry of Defense has confirmed the procurement of 14 new extended range air refuelable Chinook transport helicopters from Boeing. Although the UK originally decided in May 2021 to acquire these helicopters for around 1.4 billion pounds, the plan was reportedly put on hold in mid-2022 due to cost concerns. Now reinstated, the new Chinooks will offer twice the range of those currently in RAF service, can perform air-to-air -air refueling, and can carry up to 55 personnel or 10,000 kilograms of cargo at speeds reaching 300 kilometers per hour. They will also feature an advanced digital cockpit, enhanced airframe stability, and improved survivability. While the revised program costs are not specified, the ministry notes successful negotiations with the U.S. government reduced certain costs by more than 300 million pounds. Additionally, British companies will manufacture key components, boosting local industry and employment. Deliveries are anticipated to begin in 2027, though the Ministry of Defense has not confirmed an exact schedule. There is also uncertainty about the helicopter's formal designation. The MOD refers to them as CH-47ER, while Boeing calls them Chinook Block II ER, akin to the MH-47G Block II variant used by U.S. Special Operations Command. The final configuration for the UK aircraft remains undisclosed, but is presumed to closely resemble the MH-47G Block II. The UK Ministry of Defense's Defense Equipment and Support Organization has awarded Airbus a 142.6 million euro contract for six H-145 helicopters, marking the first step toward replacing legacy fleets under the new medium helicopter program. These six H-145s will be delivered in the mid-2020s for use by British forces in Brunei, where they replace five Bell 212s, and in Cyprus, replacing RAF Griffin HAR2s, though British Forces Cyprus has temporarily transitioned from the Griffin HAR2 to the Puma HC2. The aircraft in Brunei will provide medical evacuation support for jungle training, while those in Cyprus, based in the sovereign base areas, will handle military exercises, joint activities with the Republic of Cyprus, emergency response, and aerial firefighting. Full operational handover to the H-145 is expected in 2026. Meanwhile, the broader NMH program, intended to replace the RAF's 23 Puma, HC-2s, and the AAC's six Special Forces AS-365 in 3 Dauphin Dauphin-2s, remains underway. Three finalists have been invited to negotiate as of 27 February 2024. Airbus Helicopters UK, H-175M, Leonardo Helicopters UK, AW-149, and Lockheed Martin UK, S-70M, Blackhawk. Spear 3 is a next-generation, turbojet-powered miniature cruise missile under development by MBDA UK for use primarily on the Royal Air Force's F-35B Lightning II jets. With a range of around 100 kilometers, the missile is designed to engage a wide range of targets, including air defenses, ships, tanks, fortified structures, and fast-moving vehicles. Each F-35B will be able to carry up to eight Spear III missiles internally, significantly increasing operational flexibility. The UK Ministry of Defense has allocated approximately 1.7 billion US dollars for the program, with deliveries slated to begin towards the end of this decade. 
Although the Eurofighter Typhoon served as a test platform in recent trials, it is not anticipated that the weapon will be integrated onto the RAF's Typhoon fleet. The exact number of Spear 3 missiles to be procured has not yet been publicly disclosed. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on security and defense policy in the future. And thank you to all of you for watching. Hopefully, see you next time.